When there's no more room to add plastic to the pile, the operator lowers the plunger by holding the control lever in its down position. The operator must continue to hold the lever down for the plunger to continue moving downward. As a safety precaution, the plunger stops moving if the lever is released. But before touching the controls, the operator calls out a warning to stand clear. Everybody clear! And does a visual inspection to be sure that no one is within 10 feet of the baler. It's critical that the operator follow these safety precautions each time the plunger is about to be lowered. Helpers may find it tempting to continue to load the baler or run forward to punch down some plastic that's spilling over the sides while the plunger is moving downward toward the compaction chamber. But don't do it. Wait until the operator has stepped away from the control box and given a signal that's okay to resume loading. When the plunger has descended completely, four ears, two on the baler door and two on the back wall of the baler compartment, spring into place to prevent the plastic from rebounding the operator should be able to hear and see the ears snap into place. There are several reasons and fixes if the ears don't snap into place after plunging. Plastic may be obstructing the path of the ears. If this is the case, raise the plunger about 12 inches and replunge. If the ears still do not snap into place, Raise the plunger again and remove or cut away the plastic that is causing the problem. Check to see if the bales have become too big with plastic above the level of the ears. If this is the case, remove the excess plastic. Or especially when the baler is new, the ears may simply be sticking and should be manually pushed in after the plunger is down. Expect to fill the compaction chamber and lower the ram five or more times to make a full bale. The first several times that the plunger is lowered, the hydraulic piston rods will be able to bottom out, leaving no shiny metal showing. Once the plastic in the compaction chamber is compressed and the ears have sprung into place, release the plunger control lever. If the lever is kept in the down position longer, hydraulic pressure will continue to build. If you've been given the go-ahead to pack different types of plastic in the same bale, do so by making a layer of the second type of material so it can be easily separated from the other after the load is delivered to a recycling market. In other words, don't intersperse these different materials within the bale. There is something of an art to making dense, firm, and square bales that will stack well for transport. If plastic is loaded only into the middle of the pile, the bales will tend to become round and difficult to stack. They will likely be lightweight and spongy, which creates the risk that they will fall apart when handled for transport. Packing the corners, and front and back edges becomes more important during the last several compression cycles. After compression, raise the plunger to its full height. This provides maximum clearance for loading and also ensures that the two hydraulic piston rods stay in alignment. To be absolutely sure that the piston rods are in alignment, raise the plunger again if it has been left in the up position for any length of time. For example, if the loading of the baler has gone slowly. In other words, even if the plunger appears to be all the way up, push the lever into its up position before lowering the plunger again to compress the next load of plastic. The reasons for doing this is that a small amount of hydraulic fluid may have drained from one of the cylinders while the plunger is up, causing them to go out of alignment. If the two piston rods are out of alignment, one may start the downstroke before the other, causing the plunger to be off-kilter. Lowering an off-kilter plunger into the bailing chamber can cause serious problems. Damaged or missing ram guides are a first sign that the plunger was, at some point, lowered by the hydraulic piston rods were out of alignment. These rubber bumpers are located near the four corners of the plunger. If the plunger is tilted or off-kilter, the ram guides can catch on the walls of the bailing chamber, become damaged and possibly break off. While the ram guides can be replaced, and in fact a replacement set is in the bale or toolbox, a far more serious consequence of misalignment is that an off-kilter plunger can catch on the side of the bale chamber, or the piston rods can bend, leading to a complete failure of the hydraulic system. If any misalignment is noticed, immediately stop the compression and run the plunger all the way to the top to equalize the hydraulic fluid pressure in the two cylinders. If the plunger has only been raised a few inches, it can be brought back down again without first going to the top. This small lift and lowering may happen if the operator needs to push in stray plastic or clear the area around the ears. 
Remember that the cycle of loading, compressing, and relining will be repeated five or more times to make a full bale. The question we'll tackle next is how to know when the bale is almost full.